In this video I'm going to look at importing and reprojecting MODIS data in Envy. What you can see I've got up on the screen so far is the Windows Explorer window and you can see I've opened it already to exercise 3 which is where I've put the MODIS data that I've just previously downloaded from the LPDAC website. So you'll see it's, it's a an HDF file and the second file here is an HDF.xml um, which is a metadata file. So that's the file that we're going to open. Now if we go to Envy and go to File, Open External File and under EOS you'll find MODIS. And if you just click on that and I've just already set up the preferences here to go directly to the folder where the data are uh, located so I can click simply on the HDF file and open. Now that appears in the available bands list and you can see all the bands are listed there as the surface reflectance 1 through 7. Now if I have a look at that to start with and open that in a new display. Uh, if we'll just have a look at the scroll because that gives us an indication of the entire data set there and obviously just grayscale as that's the only um, band that I've loaded so far. And if you look at, for example, if we come over here and we can start to have a look at where where we're located in the imagery. And this area here that you can see just up in, in the upper left area is Darwin Harbour. Now if I was to look at that in comparison to a Landsat scene, for example, if we look at, again, the, the scroll image of Landsat, this area here is the Darwin Harbour. It might be a little bit difficult to see with the box there, but if you have a look at the orientation of the harbour there, it's it's oriented in a somewhat um, southeast northwest direction here. Whereas if you have a look in the in the image window of the MODIS data, you see it's running pretty much north south. Now this data, the MODIS data, are by default coming in a sinusoidal projection. So what we want to do is to actually reproject that so that it aligns better with our Landsat data and use something that's a little bit more useful for Australia in particular because if you look at the shape of the globe and where the projection is centred Australia is quite skewed. So what we need to do is to go to map and we're going to go to convert map projection and this is the the data file that I'm going to use the the MODIS 09 um, A1 data that I've just downloaded and OK and here we have the convert map projection parameters. Now really the main thing that we want to do here is just to click on change projection and we're going to use the geographic lat long projection instead and we'll click OK. Now everything else we can actually accept the defaults for, that's fine, um, but what we will do is to enter the GCP file name um, which I've already put in here and so that's just labelled mod 09 um, a in terms of that's the actual data product type and 289 was the was the day of the year in which the image was acquired and so that and reprojection at the end and it's a PTS file and our output file name will be the same without the PTS extension and so we go ahead and run that just by clicking OK and if we now have a look in the available bands list after that gets run and we'll open that same band there, so the band 1 and if you can have a look in the scroll window you'll see that it looks considerably different in terms of the way it's been projected and if we come up and have a look at finding Darwin Harbour there just off the left of the screen this is Darwin Harbour and you can see that it is actually aligned correctly now and will line up a lot better with the Landsat data